bird lovers look up, the black-faced spoonbill is a magnificent wading bird that visits Taiwan each winter. And right now, they're here in greater numbers than ever before. The birds can be spotted in Tainan, Yunling, Jiayi, and Kaohsiung. A survey by Taizhang National Park unearths the factors shaping record spoonbill numbers this year, including the bird's success in breeding as well as climate change. Every year in early September, black-faced spoonbills start arriving in Taiwan South to overwinter here until next spring. This year, the vanguard appeared in mid-September at the Sizhou Wetlands Waterbird Protection Area in Tainan, before more large contingents of spoonbills flocked to Taiwan shores. A general survey of black-faced spoonbills by Taijiang National Park suggests 3,315 birds have arrived. But early November is not yet the peak. There could be a new record made in December or January, say experts. Cold weather fronts are coming south earlier, which has caused some migratory birds to migrate south earlier. The spoonbills are here early and already in higher numbers than ever before. Their early migration is linked to the global climate crisis as well as high numbers of spoonbills being born. The birth rate is higher than the death rate, so the population is growing steadily by about 200 or 300 individuals a year. Birdwatchers noted that a familiar face is back. A bird that caught botulism was treated and then tagged with the code T85 before being released is back in Taiwan. T85 was released into the wild by Tainan Mayor Huang Weizhe, who's delighted his feathered friend is visiting again. A spoonbill that was wounded in Taiwan returns to Siberia and then the next year comes back to Taiwan. That confirms one point, that we're doing great with our conservation work. There have never been so many black-faced spoonbills in Taiwan before, but the population will only increase as we head deeper into winter. For conservationists at Taijiang National Park, it's all hands on deck to carry out ecological surveys and manage the birds' roosting sites. They'll work with fishermen to create a bird-sensitive protection area. They hope the spoonbills coming to Taiwan can go from strength to strength in years to come.